If I asked you to imagine the perfect gaming keyboard, you'd probably think of things like Cherry MX switches, programmable keys, and N key rollover. But what if there was a keyboard that had all the basic gamer features, but also helped you play longer without fatigue and even gave you multiple ways to configure your desktop? Maybe that's something you didn't even know you wanted. Introducing the Freestyle Edge from Kinesis Gaming, the world's first split gaming keyboard. And introducing Corsair's new light loop fans featuring 16 independent LEDs in every fan and low noise operation without sacrificing performance. Check them out at the link below. Now, the ideal keyboard position can change a lot depending on what game you're playing. So the idea here is that whether you're the type who likes to tilt your keyboard for shooters, throw in a joystick for flying, bring the mouse in close for reduced shoulder fatigue, or let's be honest, sometimes you just want a little snacky poo, the edge gives you flexibility. So the two halves of the keyboard can be placed up to 50 centimeters apart, and you can even hide some, though not quite enough in my opinion, of the cord that goes between the pieces to limit the amount of excess hanging out in closer configurations. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, maybe that's useful, but is this really worth a video? To be honest, Initially, we thought it was just a keyboard with a flashy gimmick too, but it ended up being a damn good keyboard. The build quality is solid with braided cables and Cherry MX switches either in red, brown, or blue flavors, and features like one millisecond response times, anti-ghosting, and eight programmable macro keys will keep hardcore players competitive but stealthy. The matte black finish and easy to read legend contribute to a clean, modern look that doesn't scream GAMER! I mean, who says that sick gear, bro, has to actually physically nauseate you? And it even has a pitch black mode that turns off both the blue backlight and the indicator LEDs. Neato. So at this point, even if the video was over, the, the no, no, wait, I, I said if, it's not over yet, the edge would be worth a serious look. But we haven't even talked about the feature that takes this keyboard to the next level, programmability. Every one of the Edge's 95 keys can be remapped to not just any function, but any two functions, which you toggle between using the frickin' key down here. And I'm not talking about simple functions. Every key or combo using modifiers like control and or shift can be mapped to a macro and you can have up to 24 macros. Each one can be up to 300 characters long, the execution speed for which can be controlled globally or set individually all the way from four to a fiery 3000 actions per second. Then, man, this thing just keeps going. Let's say that you share your keyboard with someone else, or you like different key mappings for different activities like gaming or working. That's no problem. You can have this level of customization on up to nine different layouts. So such advanced programmability probably needs advanced programming knowledge and or a software tool then, right? Well, you can do either of those things. What's cool is that the software tool for Windows is actually built right into the keyboard, no download required, but all but a few niche actions can actually be done just using the keys on the board. It's super intuitive and only takes a second. And if you ever forget what layer you're using or just what you even have programmed, you can check it at any time. And all of this is stored directly on the board so you can take all of your settings with you. Which brings us to the bad stuff. You may have noticed that I haven't talked about price yet. This keyboard is $220 or $200 on Amazon, which isn't outlandish, but it is a lot, even for a high quality mechanical board, especially one that isn't RGB. That price tag on its own isn't all of what bothers me anyway. Remember, that's still only half the price of the last Kinesis ergonomic keyboard we reviewed, the Advantage 2, which you can check out here. It's the fact that once you've taken your expensive product out of its clever box, you're left feeling a little incomplete. 
The reason is that the Edge doesn't come with the lift kit, which after using it both with and without it, feels completely essential. It tilts your wrists 5, 10, or 15 degrees and takes the edge from being a stylish, flexible, maybe even fantastic gaming keyboard to being perhaps the most ergonomic gaming keyboard out there. Since the wrist rests keep your wrists from extending, the lift kit keeps your arms from pronating, and the separation prevents them ulnas from deviating, whether you're typing for hours, gaming for hours, or some combination of the two for hours. So should you buy it? Not everyone is going to like the cramped arrow keys, or the fact that the halves don't snap together for some reason. And at this price, we think it absolutely needs to include the lift kit. But of all the ergonomic keyboards so far, we think this one has by far the most mainstream appeal. So if it goes on sale, I'm ready to say, pull the trigger now. But until then, you might say I'm a little bit split. Or torn? Uh, anyway, what I'm not torn about is telling you guys about Skillshare. It's an online learning community with more than 17,000 classes in design, uh, photo work, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. They've got great classes on things like video editing, writing, and technology, and it's more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And the first 200 people to use the promo link in the description will get their first two months free to try it out, no risk at all. So go check it out, guys. So thanks for watching. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit the like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one. Actually, I don't know if this design's still on there, but it has other cool shirts. And our community forum, which you should totally join.